Hallelujah. So for three days, I was able to pray for more than 10 hours. And on the third day, while I was praying, something like, a, like sleep came on me. And I was taking off for a few minutes. Then I saw a clear vision. And that was the first time I had a vision. Meanwhile, some of you are praying to have vision. See, visions dwell on an energy level which is far from the domain of the flesh. Okay. So, it, it, it's, it's not peculiar to apostles and prophets. It's available to every believer that is willing to explore the potential that we receive from God. And ye shall receive power. Power is one of the results, one of the achievable things in line with that potential. There are other things that are achievable in line with that potential. He just gave us one of the examples. Exactly. I saw my first vision that day. Then I now realized that, okay, the realm of visions is in an energy level that is quite high. To activate it, you may need to you know, you need to take advantage of this potential and navigate in the spirit to arrive where visions are customary. So that experience I had that day, having prayed for 10 hours, gave me insight into where visions can be found. They are found in higher octaves of the energy levels of the spirit. And only people that are desirous and willing to exploit the potential that God has invested us with will arrive at those points. Now, I now found out that even things like divine direction, you need divine direction, you want to know whether the person coming into your life is your husband, you want to check some things out, you want to know what next after your service, you want to know whether which city am I supposed to settle, you will ask those questions very soon if you are not asking them now. I want to tell you that divine direction is a possibility in the spirit, but it is domiciled at a high octave, at a high energy level. You have to explore the potential that God has given you to a high octave before you pick something. Now, so it is needful for you to make a practice of exploiting and exploring that potential before a need comes for you to conduct an inquiry. If the first time you want to hear God is when you want to marry, ah, you will not be very skillful in the octaves. Mm. And controlling spirits and familiar spirits can still interface your reception. You will not be skilled enough for you to trust what you will hear. But obviously you will hear something. You will hear something. But you see, we need to Learn how to exploit that potential so that we can get a worthy conversion of the investment from potential energy to kinetic energy. That's when it is useful. Are you, are you with me? One day, after those three days experience, I came back to school. I went back again to the same house. It's a house like that, you know, to put. I now say that day, I wanted to pray as much as I could pray forever. I started. 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 Struggled a bit. Struggled for three hours. Struggled. Struggled. And after three hours, the potential opened up very well. And I began to move. You know what? When I began to move, I hit, I hit a strand of revelation. A scripture opened up. Bam! So I had to rush, take my pen. And I began to write. Do you know what? As I began to write, the writing did not stop. I went there, and the reason for which I went there was that I wanted to see how many hours I could pray. But that realm regulated me and then gave me a pen instead. Now, I did not come there to write. But what I touched in the realm now began to pour out in form of inspiration when I began to write. it. So I now discovered that there, was, there were so many streams that were locked up in that investment. Have you read that scripture that said, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his bed shall flow streams. That investment has many, many streams. It's unfortunate that you have not found out. But I found a stream that was flowing, flowing. I had to use a pen to trap down the things flowing. 
Meanwhile, the last time I, I, I came for three days, I left with a vision. When I came this time, there was no vision this time. It was just a stream of revelation. So I had to be... I'm still running on the potential. The potential has many expressions. Many expressions. That's how navigation is, is in the spirit. When God has pushed you to that point where you want to begin to explore what he has invested in you in the form of the spirit he introduces you to diverse streams that's when you find out the first thing about him that is called the spirit it's experientially you find out so my first experience of him that is called the spirit in that my spiritual adventure was that he was a giver of wisdom and a giver of visions my next experience of him that is called the spirit was that he was the god of inspiration i wrote things down that day that i never learned things that i was never taught hallelujah things that i never studied it started coming out it started coming out and there were scriptures no 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 don't do that keep it back there were scriptures there were scriptures that were coming scriptures that i've read five years ago four years ago the stream will flow and touch that scripture and it come to my remembrance and i was there writing writing and i wrote wrote till midnight hallelujah and i went back then i'll make plans again after a short while in school i go back to that room because there was a family there that said pastor anytime you are coming this is your room so i took advantage of that room. and i found the holy spirit manifesting through many many streams and the problem is this many believers who don't know how to take advantage of the investment 